I love collecting. Two, two, two. It's two, two, two. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, we got two, two, two on the, on the thing. I thought there was something in there. Let me love you. By Dream Ascension. 432 hertz. Okay, what are we going to talk about today, uh, uh, ancestors? Um, we got... <coughs> okay, until Michael asks you to come down and guard protect us as we channel the messages. Um, thank you, ancestors and ascended masters, for all the helpful healing messages that you send and the truth, okay? This is 1159. Okay. Let's see. Okay. It says, start strong, finish stronger. You've got this. Okay, if you are always trying to be normal, you will never know how amazing you can be. It says, talents. Talents. Flamingo, you're between two worlds right now. Cleanse. This is openness. Owl is telling you wisdom. It says, listen. Listen to the wisdom of the owl. Okay. It says, fly. It says, you're about to leave. I'm trying to tell y'all. Um, you're about to leave. Okay. We'll put these two aside. We might pick them up again. Is Collective about to leave either way? From the area that they're surrounded by? It says you're about to leave. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, look at this. Got it on the 432 hertz. I want to hear some some music. Let me see. Alright. Okay, so it's saying you're about to leave. It says the crosswinds rule. Um, page 204. Balance. It says it's time, Tom, Thomas Hardy wrote and far from the maddening crowd. The night had a sinister aspect. A heated breeze from the south slowly fanned the summits of the lofty objects. And in the sky, dashes of buoyant clouds are sailing in a course at the right angles to that of another stratum. Okay? Neither of them in the direction of the breeze below. Okay, so, um, it looks like you, <laughs> you, you may be... <laughs> Going and um, not knowing what direction to head in, but you're you're gonna take off, okay, and just go somewhere, and that's that's where you're gonna start. Um, it says a spark. It says something is wicked. Take your love vitamin and bounce back. Crying out. Okay, spark is perception. Work and stay busy. Okay. All right. Let's see. That's what it says. Something is crying out. So let's find out what's going on. This song is called You by Candlebox. Um, it says that they're, they're tired of other people um, taking advantage of their, of their kindness and their goodness. And um, they're telling them to get away. R look it up. It's, it's called You by Candlebox. Okay, what y'all want to tell us? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Ancestors, thank you. That's five. Okay, bottom of the deck has the eight of pentacles, some kind of destiny. Okay, um, you water in your garden. Okay, the first card out is the queen of wands. Okay, um, it's the queen of wands. Somebody manifesting something. Um, let's see. So if somebody's manifesting something. Okay, it says they've been illuminated. Okay, like, um, they're seeing things clearly now. Okay, and we got judgment. This person is manifesting something. Hold on. 
Is this Queen of Wands representing collective? Y'all went in manif manifestation mode? Yes, this Queen of Wands is manifesting. This is you, collective. Um, you went into manifestation mode. Um, things have got to change. Um, the way it is now is not working. It's got to change. So you're manifesting something and you make judgment on a situation. Okay? It says um, the King of Wands is right underneath you. Huh. You made judgment on the King of Wands. He's right here. This is a couple. Look, out of five cards, how the hell? Okay? And the outcome is that he's thinking about you. Y'all are thinking about each other. The four chalice. Huh. You got two chalices laying, laying on the side and two chalices sitting upright. Okay? And you're thinking about it. You've been illuminated about it. Okay? Some kind of destiny. Okay, y'all see what's going on? Here, we'll, we'll clarify with a different deck, okay? Which one? The piece? All right, we're gonna clarify with these. All right. Thank you, ancestors. Thank you, ascended masters. Um, let's clarify the four chalice first. What's the four chalice? The star. Somebody's thinking about the star. And... Apparently, to each other, you're the star. It says the, the chariot is walking away, been illuminated about her destiny. And some kind of money, some kind of um, wish fulfillment and money. Okay? The Queen of Wands is m quickly moving away from this, all this false stuff um, into her destiny. Okay, that's where she'll be abundant. Um, what's the judgment card? The world. What else? Uh, the judgment card is what happened in the world. Caused a bunch of depression and, and love. Struggles in love with this um, king of pentacles. Okay. Um, he wants stability in it. What's, what's, it says it's the Capricorn. The Capricorn wants stability with his cancer, this queen of wands, um, and, and he's the king of wands. And the king of pentacles. Is, uh, the Capricorn the king of wands and the king of pentacles? Yes. Okay. All right, well, that's, he wants stability. So what's he going to do? What's, what's that mean? You made judgment on him, but he's wanting stability. What's he want to do? Okay, what's the king of wands part? This is the queen of wands. That's the truth. This, this queen of wands, that's all he wants, is the, the, the cancer queen of wands. Let's verify it. Okay, um, the King of Wands is just, all he wants is this, this Cancer Cherry Queen of Wands. Make it clear. Let's say yes. He says that's the truth. Okay, so, so what's, what's going to happen? He says the Emperor. He's changing to the Emperor, y'all. From experiences. Okay. And all he's thinking about is a star. He wants balance in this situation. Okay. He went to jail or went in his head. And just all he can think about is his twin flame. Okay. He's in love. And he hopes to move it on to calmer waters. He's in love. Okay. So it says he's talking to a judge. What you don't see coming. He's talking to a judge. He's telling this judge it's true. Okay, this is what you don't see coming. Telling this judge the truth. He's seen the sun about who you are and who y'all both are. Okay? And um, he went into hangman mode. He knows that it was severed and he betrayed you. Okay? He knows that he betrayed your love. And it stole money. Poisoned it. <laughs> now he's in true love. And wants to communicate with you. He made judgment. 
No, the high priestess made judgment. Because she knows everything that he ain't told her. Most of it. Um, it says some kind of action is being taken by this high priestess. She's about to leave. Okay, stop. Is uh, this high priestess um, representing this Queen of Wands chariot? Yes. Okay, she made judgment and is about to take action. Yes. Okay, this song's called um, Velvet Revolver Fall to Pieces, y'all. So, she's taking action. It says because of this third party situation. Um, this dark third party situation. Some kind of action's being taken with a judge or a spiritual leader. What the hell? Them cards just felt, just jumped out. Confusion on the Queen of Pentacles and half truths. That's what happened in the third party. That's what happened. And this high priestess is about to leave. Is that the truth? The Empress. <laughs> Yep. Um, the ancestor saw everything. She offered her cup, and he poured it out, and now he wants to offer his cup. Will she pour it out, or will she keep it? Okay, so what are the ancestors doing about this situation? It says they're bringing justice to all this uh, chaos and conflict, um, the stealing of the money and the poisoning of the love. They blocked this Capricorn, okay, until he tells the truth. Will of Fortune is coming for the Empress. Will of Fortune is coming for the Empress. Okay? And what is the Will of Fortune for the Empress? What's happening? It says she's totally transformed. Total transformation. To drama. Look, the only thing between the Emperor and the Empress is, is experience and money. That's the only thing separating them right here. Balance and money. Drama. You gonna have. You need strength because it's the daughter of wands. Um, that's causing the drama. It says some kind of good collaboration is coming in. The mother of cups is pointing at this chaos, this this confusion. She's pointing right at it. She landed right there on it. Okay. Poison love, somebody put your money in a box. The Mother of Pentacles, you're about to receive your money because the vine is bringing it. See all the feathers? They're about to bring your money to you um, and make you the Mother of Pentacles. Just have strength, okay? It says that's the truth. That's the straight truth, okay? Bottom of the deck is a tower for this King of Wands because he poured out your cup of love when he was immature. He became the, the king of wands. This is the the son of wands. Sorry, y'all. The knight of wands. Okay. He poured out your cup of love when he was the knight of wands. <clears throat> he became the king of wands and realized he was the, the, the flame. Okay. Then he got blocked. He wants a brand new start. Um, he's been carrying burdens about this wish fulfillment that he made. Okay. He knows that you're the wish fulfillment. It's true love. He tried to sacrifice you. He wants to tell the truth about it because it's breaking his heart. It's about to kill him. Okay. Um, he wants to give you money. He transformed. He hopes that you'll accept his cup of love because uh, he knows he poured out yours. But he hopes you accept his. He's making a plan because he's holding on to you. Okay. He's making a plan to get you back. Okay. Because um, you're his wish fulfillment and love. He wants to give you money or divine is going to give you money. Okay. Um, but a lot of obstacles and mountains and shit were placed in your way um, um, in some kind of collaboration, some kind of third party, some kind of uh, three three or more people, okay? They put all kinds of shit in your way. Um, it was the magician, okay? That's the truth. But he transformed, and he wants to tell the truth. He wants to bring all the truth out, all of it. Okay, because he did transform. Um, he's not that anymore. He's the, he's grown up like he's seen the light is what they're trying to say. Okay, so pendulum, are you saying that this um, counterpart, this Capricorn person, has has totally transformed? 
I mean, it doesn't have to be a Capricorn, but it, the magician he transformed. Mm. Power off. They're saying yes. Okay, stop. So, should Collective just move on and not even worry about it until something happens? Because nothing is happening. Should Collective just leave? Says yes. Okay. All right, y'all gotta leave today, two or three days, a uh, week. Um, whatever you want to do, whatever you feel, whatever your instinct is telling you. Okay. Um. Uh, for some reason, I'm feeling like a bunch of you guys <laughs> are ready to leave, and something's been just holding you there. Um, what's been holding you there is um him holding on to you. Okay. If he's not gonna step up and not tell the truth, if he's not gonna do none of that, just leave. Just leave. Don't worry about what he's doing, okay? They say I gotta leave these out here. They want them like this. Okay. I'll leave them out there. Alright. Um, so this is some kind of destiny. I don't know, man. I don't... I don't... The thing is, is, um... The truth... Things are not what they seem. I'm telling you. Things are not what they seem. Okay. Um, I don't know which ones I want to use. It says the adults. It says, um, I hope you've been eating five, five a day in China. It says, of course I have. And I've been brushing your teeth. And you've been brushing your teeth? He says, twice a day, every day. Uh, promise? It says, promise. It says, um, they look clean. I'm proud of you. So, somebody's cleaning up their act. That's what it sounds like. Somebody's cleaning up their act and being responsible. Okay? It says, there was a knock at the door. So, somebody's coming to the door. It says, he frowned. So, he let them come back in? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> Scarlet glared at her and said, "Let's just let's just be the two of us a bit longer. Tell me about what you got up in China. What you got up to in China? Um, are there castles there?" He says, "Yep, and unicorns. Loads of unicorns. <laughs> That's funny, y'all." He says he posed he stretched back on the bed, lying down, put his hand uh, hand paw under his head. Um, you use unicorns there like buses? You just hop on them when... It says there was another knock at the door. Huh. Posey looked at Scarlet. He raised it where his, his brows would be. Scarlet stared firmly at Posey. It's rude to interrupt. They're being rude. You keep telling me about China. Okay? Um, that's on page 158. So, <laughs> someone wants to just be the two of y'all. Okay? And nobody else, all right. Um, and and and, and y'all talk, okay, without any of the distractions or anything like that. They they want it to be just the two of you guys, okay. Um, so let's see what we got going on here. What y'all want to say? It says go and make interesting mistakes, make amazing mistakes, make glorious and fantastic mistakes, break the rules, leave the world more interesting for your being there. Well, that's too many. Hmm. says I have failed many times many times in my life but more importantly I've learned from every setback proudly own up to my, my mistakes grown from my disappointments and now I'm a glamazon bitch ready for the runway <sighs> y'all I gotta take a breather for a second I'm hacking my breath <sighs> stretch my hands up to the, to the Oh, touch my toes. One, two, three. Okay, that feels better. Okay, um, these people have done the most. Um, there's, there's, there's going to be justice. There's going to be. Okay, um, what else do you want, want, you want to tell us? It says worthiness. It says, I am worthy of the ultimate happiness. I deserve and accept it. And damn it, I'm not going to feel guilty about it when I get it. Guilt is not invited to my happiness party. I won't even tell him where it is. 
If you ask about it, I'll be like, no, I think you're thinking of something else. And then I'll run away very quickly. <laughs> you're worthy. Look, I know it probably feels heavy or something right now, okay? Um, I know I, I can feel things too, okay? I feel uh, actually a lot. Um, but the, the, there has to be like a... It's like the storm before the rainbow, okay? Um, Waiting until the very last minute. Um, but you have to decide on your own fate. Not waiting on... No, don't be codependent on what they're going to do, okay? You have to decide on your own fate, all right? Um, so I just wanted to say that. Look, action's being taken, okay? He's putting down his swords and ready to tell the truth. What it says, look at this. These are backwards. And then he jumped down in the floor. It says, the Queen of Cups is about to receive, uh, I mean, the Queen of Swords is about to receive a, a, an overflowing cup, okay? Because um, she's done her work. She's done what she's supposed to. And then he's got holding on, okay? Um, holding on and then temperance. Someone's holding on to get balance. Okay, it says there's a secret. Someone's coming face to face and telling about the evidence. It says it, someone's just, all they can do is dream about their love, the Queen of Chalice, okay? And it says from the Eight of Pentacles to the Three of Pentacles, someone's rebuilding the star. The star is rebuilding. And the King of Pentacles is about to come in and be unexpected. He's going to be that knock at the door, and you go, what? Is somebody knocking at the door? <laughs> we better hurry and come knock, because there ain't going to be too much longer being at this door. Well, maybe. We'll see. So somebody's going to come in and tell the truth, stick it in their mouth, stick some, some truth in there. <laughs> and that person's going to get chained up. It's, there's some kind of destiny about it, okay? Um, there's some kind of destiny about that. Okay. Alright, if you like the video, um, hit the like button, um, um, subscribe, you hit the subscribe, the, the bell notification down there, um, hit that and um, it, it'll let you know when I, when I make a new video, okay? Okay, and um, if you guys got any questions or anything, just hit me up in the comments down there. Um, um, I have um, my emails down in the description and if you want to donate to the channel, it's um, I only have cash out right now, I'm working on the other stuff. Um, I have cash app, uh, dollar sign, angel moon 6237. That's all I got right now. Okay. Um, let's see what they want to, if they want to tell us one more thing. What? This done jumped in a third eye activation. What the hell? That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Anyway, it says mind location. Okay. Uh-uh. No, that's too many. Y'all crazy. Here, well, I'm going to close my eyes and, and just... Okay. Whichever one falls out. It says, tension is a teacher. Okay? While tightness and constriction in your body can literally be pain, those feelings also can be instructed. Physical tightness is often a symptom of something going on in your mind. Okay? Over the course of our lives, we tend to develop patterns of physical tension in response to stress and difficult emotions. If you can learn to recognize the patterns and co correlation between your mind and body, you can intentionally relax those parts of the body before the tension builds. Okay? So if you can, if you can relax, this is over the course of our lives, we develop a pattern. Okay? So you know where it starts feeling like it at, like right there, or right there, or right there. Um, and you can intentionally relax that part of your body, like, because you know that that's where you hold your tension at, okay? Um, all right, now, um, let me, let me, Clinton wants to ask a question when, when we close, okay? Okay, um, it's all rainy outside today, so the energy feels kind of heavy, I'm just saying, okay? All right, collective. Somebody's about to give you a cup. Hold on. Somebody's been using magic too. 
That's crazy. This is Rock Me by Great White. Okay. Collective, ask your question. Pendulum, answer the question when they're prepared. Yes or no? Yes or no? It says a yes, definitely. Okay. Um, like I said, let me, let me move that. Okay, let me see what, what the energy wants to talk about before I close. All right. It could be a, it could be a sign or anything. Oh, it went to the floor. Oh, my gosh, y'all. It's cancer. This is representing the empress on, on most of these readings. So, let's see what cancer's got to say, okay? Let's see. What does cancer want to tell us? Okay. It says, I feel. It says, the sensitive energy of water finds strength and direction through this cardinal take charge quality and reminds you that emotional intelligence plays a huge role in shaping relationships in life. The key phrase, I feel, means that the motivation comes from your emotions. In this situation, ask, what feels right? Take the emotional temperature of the situation before acting. Okay? If it feels right to leave, leave. If it feels right to stay, stay. Um, ask yourself what feels right. It says, feelings are complicated things. We often confuse our actual emotions with the stories we tell ourselves about these emotions. Those stories can distract us from the actual feeling. Avoid emotional ma manipulation of yourself and of others. Okay? Um, stick with facts. Okay? Not, not you know, um, the emotional, the emotional part of it. Okay? Um, I don't know what the hell I'm trying to do there. It's sitting funny. Okay. Well, there you go. Um, cancer asks you to, um, to look into your nurturing emotional self and feel what feels right. Okay. Um, take charge of your life. Um, take charge of your decisions. Um, and, and don't, don't lie to yourself. Okay. Um, don't emotionally lie to yourself. Okay, um, they say, my vibes speak louder than my words. My capacity to tune into the energy of love gives me the words I need when I am ready to speak up, the compassion I need when it's time to forgive, and the power I need when I am lost. Okay, all right, so like love to you. I'll see you on the flip side, and y'all take care.